There are many incredible people in this world. Super athletes like Usain Bolt and Cristiano Ronaldo, big brains like Elon Musk and Bill Gates and many more. But there is one category of people that you probably don't know about. People that have something that almost nobody in the world has. Wanna know what? Keep on watching. Because this, is uncovered. Before we go any further, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel to never miss one of our future uploads. So, who are these people that possess real-life superpowers? Well, there are only 400 people ever recorded to have this rare disease called urbach wyatt The most studied case is the one of patient SM. To the outside world, she seems like an ordinary woman, but the truth is, she doesn't experience fear. To protect her identity, there are no images of patient S, M's face to be found, because people that have knowledge of her powers could do some terrible things to her and other people. So why exactly doesn't patient SM experience fear? Well, since her late childhood, she suffered from a very rare disease called urbach wyatt as we previously said. This caused the destruction of her amygdala, a small part of the brain which is used for processing emotions. Because of this, patient SM is unable to feel any kind of fear. Patient SM has been a part of many experiments, such as holding snakes and spiders, as well as a walk through a haunted attraction, to none of which she showed any kind of fear or emotion. In addition to this, patient SM has had many dangerous encounters in her life before. She has been holed at both gun and knife point and was almost beaten to death in a case of domestic violence. Despite knowing that these things are not normal, patient SM didn't show any signs of desperation or fear. For a long time, patient SM was proof for scientists that with working amygdala, you couldn't experience fear, until one day. One experiment changed the way researchers look at our body's response to fear. For this experiment, patient SM and two other patients suffering from the same condition were exposed to high levels of carbon dioxide through a mask. Researchers expected them to show no signs of fear, but the results shocked them. Both patient SM and the two other patients showed signs of utter panic, something they had never experienced before. Later on, scientists did the same experiment with a healthy control group. Knowing that they were participating in a safe environment potentially caused their amygdala to tell other parts of their brains that there was nothing to be scared of. This was revolutionary, since researchers now believe that your amygdala play a major role in determining threats outside of your body, whilst other, older parts of your brain are used to determine threats on the inside, such as high levels of carbon dioxide used in the experiment. So, what does patient SM do now? Nothing out of the ordinary. She has been married and lives a calm life together with her three children, despite the adversity she faced in earlier stages of her life. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, let us know the next topic you would love to see us make a video on in the comments below. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.